Okay, so here we are, the final day of September. And after a long, long wait and build up, we've pretty much got the final uh, home improvement that is going to be the one that we can pretty much afford at this point. Uh, until uh, we've ta some time passes, I make some money and I pay off all the bills that we have now racked up uh, furnishing this home. But one of the first things that I recorded way back in June when we moved in first is I walked into the bedroom and I showed you guys these, that these blinds did not work. I showed you that they were destroyed. They had actually pulled them so hard that the blinds would not come down and I had to cut all the wires to have the blinds come down. Well, ladies and gentlemen, these are our new blinds. They are faux wood, which means they look like wood, but they're not really. So why do we get faux wood? It's pretty simple, because it's cheaper than real wood. Real wood is actually quite expensive. It's eco-friendly-ish. It is? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> so it's cool because as you can see they go all the way up like that or all the way this way and we get a nice beautiful view of the construction site that's near where we live uh, we actually hear noise from there about every morning or so but it's okay it doesn't wake us up it's not too bad uh, but the, the main thing that that is the you know the good thing about this they work they can actually be lifted and suspended as you can see we actually hold the whole summer we couldn't use this window because the blinds couldn't go up because they were broken. So that's the blinds for the, the bedroom. And then we also did get some blinds for both of our offices all the way down here on the other side of the house as well. As you can see, Leanna has them there. And I have them here. And what a difference this makes, let me tell you guys, because today... The sun was beating here on the, my office window, right? And I could feel the heat emanating from it, but when I actually walked up to it and I went like this, I could feel these blinds were insulating the heat. So the heat was staying out because the blinds was actually absorbing the sun rather than what, you, what used to happen, which was I had a shade here. The shade really wouldn't absorb that much. And if I wanted to have the window open, the shade had to be pulled up or else the shade would cover the whole window. Now I have the ability to easily open the blinds and get some air circulation. So, very nice. We, we got them from Home Depot, by the way. And uh, I'm gonna be honest, they probably cost around 150 to $200 per window, because they're expensive. Blinds are not cheap, okay? Now, some people have said to me, because today my first stream was a little bit delayed, they said, why uh, was your first stream delayed? And I said, well, because we gotta have a guy come in and install the blinds, to which people are saying, you can't install the blinds by yourself? Ho <laughs> ho! No, sorry, I'm not a hardware guy. I'm not Tim the Toolman Taylor uh, from Home Improvement. I'm not exactly the most handy of people. And I had absolutely no clue how to mount that thing up there. And I would go as far to say that the people who lived here before us probably didn't know how to do it because that's why the other ones were broken to begin with. So I wasn't going to mess with it. In addition, you know, I do have a back injury. And for me to stand here stretching and trying to drill, I don't even have a power drill, by the way, to drill in, which is what the guy used to install this, it would have been a nightmare. He had to mount it farther ahead anyway because of the security alarm. Well, he even did say that too. He says that there's a security, you know, our alarm box right here. And that if he had done it normally, it would have been further in, but he had to move out because of that. And that would have been another thing that kind of got thrown into the mix there that I wouldn't have been ready for or known anything about. Um, but it wasn't that expensive. I actually, I think it was a $122 flat rate. They came and measured three different rooms and then they came out and took away the old blinds and installed the new ones so when you really think about it that's what 40 bucks a room not even that's not bad you know considering that it's now up it's done properly i don't have to worry that i fuck it up or i have to spend hours trying to figure out how to do it myself it was worth it but at this point i am tapped i really don't have any money left uh you know my finances are are, are flexed out and, uh, you know, we're probably not going to be doing any kind of home improvements until, uh, i probably say until Christmas, because we do need a Christmas tree. No reaction to that eyebrow raise. Okay. What? We do need a Christmas tree here. And besides that, until unless anything comes up, they actually did come this week and they, they tore up our roof, which I'm actually going to, that's a good thing I can show you, is an update on the leak, how it got worse. I had mentioned about a week ago that... We had looked and our leaks were getting worse. Uh, we had a lot of rain here one week. And you're gonna see this and be like, ew, cause we are too. So there you have it. Not very good as you can see. Uh, it got very wet up there in the corner. There's a leak and it even created some minor mold that uh, kind of grew there. 
And so we contacted our condo, uh, not condo association, I, I still call it that even though this isn't a condo facility. I contacted our, uh, you know, our homeowners association and they had roofers come out this week. They were out here one day this week for about four to five hours on the rooftop tearing shit up. And we're hoping, fingers crossed, that that solved this problem. Because if this gets any worse, we're going to have major issues. Right now, for as it is, we're just leaving it because we don't want to fix it and then have the thing leak more. So we're actually going to wait and when because we are hitting the rainy season here in Seattle. And as we see how much rain we get, uh, we're going to see if it gets worse. If it gets worse, then we're going to have to have them come out again. But for now, they did some major work. And hopefully, hopefully, the leaks are fixed. But we won't know until it starts raining again, which it should do probably within a week or two. So that is it. Thanks, everyone. Look at our beautiful view of, of, uh, of the green in our backyard. It's so nice, isn't it? Look at this giant trees towering above our heads. It is a lot nicer than it used to be in Connecticut, that's for sure. So, and now we actually have the view. We can actually see out of this window because the blinds work again. So, all right, everybody. Thanks very much. See you later.